Hi everyone, welcome to this course, ISRO Previous Question Solutions of Structural Analysis Subject. I am Mallikarjun. Okay, so here uh, we will see the questions and uh, solutions of uh, ISRO. Okay, Structural Analysis Subject. Right, now this is the question, first question from Static Indeterminacy Chapter. Okay, right, what is given? If there are m unknown number of forces, okay, and R is the unknown reaction, J is the number of joints, then the degree of static indeterminacy of pin jointed plane frame. Okay, so students, uh, at the end of uh, chapter uh, static indeterminacy, simplified formulas are there. Okay. So, for pin jointed plane frame, okay, ds equals to m plus r minus 2j. This is the formula for pin jointed plane frame, okay. So, which option is correct? m plus r minus 2j, then option c is correct, okay. Similarly, if it is a space frame, this is for a plane, okay, this is for plane frame. If it is a space frame, then formula m plus r minus 3j, okay. This is for space frame, pin jointed plane frame, pin jointed space frame. But clearly mentioned pin jointed plane frame, okay. Right. Next question. This is a question from kinematic indeterminacy chapter. Okay, that is also called degree of freedom, right? Right, what is given? Degree of kinematic indeterminacy of a pin jointed plane frame is. What is the general formula to find the kinematic indeterminacy? N into J minus R, right? Okay, where J is number of joints and R is number of reactions. And where N is number of degree of freedoms of a joint okay so which joint is given pin jointed plane frame so students for pin jointed plane frame formula 2j minus r okay this is for pin jointed plane frame okay so 2j minus r then option a is correct if it is a space frame then 3j minus r. If it is space frame, 3j minus r, then option c. But given here, plane frame only. Okay? Right. Next question. This is a question from movement distribution method chapter. Okay? What is given? In movement distribution method, the sum of distribution factors of all members meeting at any joint is. Students, Distribution factor at a joint always equals to 1, right? Okay. Distribution factor at a joint always equals to 1. Okay. So, option C is correct. Next question. Right. This also from movement distribution method chapter. Given single bay, single story portal frame. Now, this is the single bay single story portal frame hinged left support yes left support is hinged and a fixed right support okay fixed right support and it is loaded with uniformly distributed load on the beam uniformly distributed load on the beam okay which one of the following statement is true with regard to the deformation of the frame okay so students if you see the options you asking related to sway only right okay first tell me is it symmetrical frame or unsymmetrical frame end conditions are different right now this is the unsymmetrical frame so unsymmetrical frames are here it is sway frame. Okay, this is the sway frame. Now question is 
will it sway left side or right side we have to identify okay always sway will occurs towards weaker column okay now left support is hinged support right support is fixed support right okay then compared to right column left column is weaker then sway will occur towards left side sway is towards left side okay few students may get doubt sir how you are saying this column is weaker compared to right column students far end is hinged support what is the sway movement 3 e i delta by l square and far end is fixed support what is the sway movement 6 e i delta by l square now both height of the columns are same l square l square get cancelled then e i delta also same then left column 3 right column 6 now which one is the least value 3 is least value right okay it means this 3 is for left column only right it represent this is the weaker column because left column got the least value right okay so always sway will occur towards weaker column okay so it would sway to the left side yes option a is correct okay right next question right this is a question from slope deflection method chapter okay what is given match list 1 with list 2 and select the correct answer using the code given below in the list students movement distribution method developed by hardikras okay who developed the movement distribution method hardikras then b4 so here uh, b2 is there right eliminate it and here b2 is eliminate it and here b4 then option b is correct okay and students axel bendixson developed the slope deflection method this is the first person developed by uh, developed slope deflection method later one more person modified this method with uh, additional information that is Manny. Okay, this is the first person and this is the second person developed slope deflection method. Okay, then here uh, A3, yes, A3, then option B is correct. Okay, right next plastic theory the shape factor for rectangular section this is a standard values right shape factor for rectangular section is 3 by 2 it is 1.5 only right standard values okay so 1.5 next in the plastic analysis the ratio of plastic movement to the yield moment okay what is the ratio of uh, plastic moment and yield moment this is called shape factor okay what is the definition of shape factor it is the ratio of plastic moment and yield moment then option b is correct next this is a question from ild rolling loads and influence lines the muller bresla principle in structural analysis is used for this muller bristler's principle used to draw the ild right for both statically determinate and indeterminate structures okay but especially will apply this concept to draw ild for statically indeterminate structure any force function like uh, axial force shear force bending moment okay so drawing influence line diagram for any force function then option a is correct next arches and cables so what is given 
if l is the span of a light suspension bridge okay whose each cable carries total load w the central dip is given y and the horizontal pull at each support is Now this is the UDL intensity W kilo Newton per meter. This is the length L. Okay. And asking to find the horizontal pull. Nothing but horizontal thrust at both the supports. Okay. So you asking to find this one. And what is the formula students? This is W L square by and uh, this uh, dip is given y right okay then this is 8 y but a given total weight this is a capital w total weight okay then intensity equals to capital w by l only right okay now substitute here so in place of intensity capital w by l into l square divided by 8 into y then this is WL divided by 8 into Y. So WL divided by 8 into Y, then option B is correct. Okay. Right. Next question. An arch fails by students, arch subjected to compression, right? It is a compression member. Okay. So compression means a crushing only, right? Yes correct okay and uh, sliding one of of uh, ursulus of another yes this also correct okay and uh, uneven settlement of abutments nothing but support settlement okay so then all are correct then option d is correct okay right next question from matrix method to generate the jth column of the flexibility matrix okay look here what is the flexibility matrix definition displacement caused due to unit force right okay displacement caused due to unit force so this is displacement and this is force right okay so here f11 f21 f12 and F22. Okay. So, students, this is the ith column and this is the jth column. Okay. Nothing but this is uh, FII, FJI. Okay. This one. Next, this one. F I J F J J. Okay, so it means this is the ith column and this is the jth column. Okay, right. Then from this definition, first one is displacement, second one is force, right? First one is displacement second one is force first one is displacement second one is force now tell me to generate the jth column of flexibility matrix we have to apply unit to force only at coordinate j okay we to apply unit to force only at coordinate j and we have to find the displacement at coordinate i at coordinate j. It means we have to find the displacement at all the coordinates. But apply unit force only at jth coordinate. Okay. Look here. Unit force is applied at coordinate j. Yes. Unit force applied at coordinate j. But we are finding displacement at all the coordinates. And displacements are calculated at all the coordinates then option a is correct okay so these are the questions 
okay given in uh, isro from structure analysis subject okay so thank you students all the best for your examination and for your future